Lawmakers debated a bill on DNA and genealogy today, and it would allow police to look at databases for help in solving crimes. But it is facing some pushback. Fox 13's Ben Winslow is on Capitol Hill with more. The bill's sponsor says it sets some ground rules for police and prosecutors to follow when looking at genealogical DNA in an effort to solve crime. Representative Steve Elison says it requires consent when law enforcement wants to look at sites like Ancestry.com or 23andMe. Now, we had support from Greg Miller, the son-in-law of Sherry Black and the former CEO of the Larry Miller Group. She was stabbed to death inside her South Salt Lake bookstore in 2010. The case went unsolved for years until police used DNA to help identify a suspect. This bill strikes what I believe is an appropriate balance uh, in protecting the rights of private citizens while preserving the ability of law enforcement to access critical information that uh, helped in our family's case apprehend a brutal, violent killer uh, and, and made our, our community and our society safer. But members of the House Law Enforcement and Criminal Justice Committee appear to have serious concerns about the bill violating the Fourth Amendment and police being able to just go searching around websites for DNA to match a crime without a warrant. Ancestry.com opposes the bill. Law enforcement would be seeking access to go fishing an entire database with potentially millions of consumers' data and not the data particular to the person suspected of a crime. Now, the committee adjourned without taking action on the bill. That means that it's in limbo up here. It's not moving forward, but it's also not dead. It could come back at any time. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.